Hey, this is Marie, World Peas Knits, episode 63. Let's get started. I have so many knitting and crochet projects to share with you. The first one that I have is this Muscleboro hat. I used all kinds of self-striping scraps from my sock projects that I made in the past. And I love how it turned out. I did an adult size large. I used size 2.75 needles. So I used just a little pair of DPNs for the cast on in the 2.75. And then I used these circular Knitter's Pride Zings in the 2.75 to knit the large portion of the hat. And I love how it turned out. It's super scrappy and it was really fun to knit. So you just stick one end of the hat inside of the other end. If you haven't seen these uh, before and you can make, basically you can wear it, you know, as two different kinds of hats or two different colors because this side is all of, you know, kind of the pastel colors. And then I made it so that the other side was more kind of fallish colors. So I love how it turned out. And I'll go ahead and try it on for you. So you can make it as long as you want. If you want to make it long and then have the brim folded up, you can do that. And that's how I made mine so that I could do that if I'd like. I just love how it turned out. It's so cute. And then I think this would be totally easy for like a beginner to make. The only thing is that you would need maybe help with the pinhole cast on and there's lots of YouTube videos out there um, that show you how to do it. And I love how it turned out. So I plan to wear mine like folded up with a brim, but you don't have to. You can totally wear it, you know, like slouchy. And it comes in all different sizes. So you can decide if you want to make, you know, a really slouchy one or. So there's what it looks like not folded up, but I really love it. It's so cute. And it was really fun to make. So I have another one in my works in progress because I loved making it so much. But go ahead and um, check out the pattern. And you could do all sorts of um, different uh, sizes and it, it helps you with you know the gauge and how to decide how much um, you need to increase depending upon the weight of the yarn that you have in order to get the size that you want. It is a super cool pattern. All the next thing that I have is a pair of fingerless mitts that I made and this is the yarn that I used, Opal. It is super fun spring colors. It's color 2312 and I did my standard fingerless mitt recipe. So this is how they turned out. I love them. They're so fun and so spring-like. So this is how they turned out. I love them. And I have a video on how I make my fingerless mitts. If you're interested, I'll link it above. So it's super fun, super fast. This is definitely a, a beginner um, project. So you should check it out if you want to make these with me. All right, so the next thing that I have is a pair of socks that I finished. So I knit a pair of socks with Homespun House yarn. And so it was called Mermaid of the Black Lake. That's what it looks like, it's so cool. And then I used uh, some West Yorkshire spinners in the color Nutmeg 630 is the number. And I made a pair of uh, Afterthought heel socks. And I believe I showed uh, the first one of these before in, in another video, but I got the pair finished. And I love how they turned out. They're super cute. I love this colorway. It's so pretty. I used my vanilla sock pattern, my standard one, and I just did um, 64 stitches and then I did a uh, two by two rib and I knit however long I wanted them to be and then I put in some waist yarn for an afterthought heel and then I went ahead and knit down to the toe and went back and put the heels in and I love how they turned out. 
so cute. Okay, so the next thing that I have is, oh my gosh, so I made a float tote, which I love and I've been using last time. It's a blue one and I love it and I have a project in it. I'll share that with you later, but I decided I wanted another float tote <laughs> and so I went ahead and made a second one. I love how it turned out. I used this three skein size. I used a size J crochet hook. Okay, this was Hobby Lobby um, Crafters Secret Cotton that I had in my stash in hot pink. And then I had um, soft ecru uh, sugar and cream that I used for the body. And so this was the hot pink. And then I used the sugar and cream for the body. And then I used light pink Hobby Lobby that I had in my stash. Um, for the top part. And then I had enough light pink to make the little inserts, the bottom, the base of it. So I went ahead and made that. I used the Ecru and then I had some purple in my stash, which was also from Hobby Lobby. It was lavender, 32 is the color. So I used just all kinds of scraps from my stash plus um, some of the Ecru, the sugar and cream. And I love how it turned out. It's so cute. I love the colors. I love the purple and pink together. It's, it's definitely my jam, so. Okay, so the next thing that I have, my other Muscleboro hat. Okay, so I started, then after I finished that one, I couldn't wait to start another one. Wanted to see how this knit up. Now this is like a, self-striping, self-patterning, and it creates like a fair aisle um, automatically just by knitting. This is it, it's Wisdom Yarns. Now I think I got this up in the mountains at a little tiny um, yarn shop, but I'm not sure. And I got it in the Techno colorway, uh, number 108. It says that it's from Turkey, it's made in Turkey. So I used, it's a little bit thicker than like a normal sock yarn. It's just kind of on the thicker side. And I used a size three needle for this. I decided I wanted to try the flexi flips. So I got these flexi flips and I thought that might be kind of cool to do this Musselboro hat with. So I'm using the size three, 3.25 flexi flips. I think it says it on the top there. And I love how it's turning out. It is so fun. Look at these colors. Oh my gosh, it's really cute. So this is how it's turning out. And I can't wait to um, get it finished. But it's so cute. And I'm not sure if I will have enough yarn, uh, you know, for the length that I would like for it to be, or if I'll add something else in. I may do that on the other side, but I'm not sure. I'm going to see like how long, um, you know, if I keep knitting this, how long will it be? So I might end up adding a second yarn into it if I feel like I need to. So I do love it. I'm doing the adult large again. Um, and you should totally check out that pattern because I am hooked now. I'll be making probably a few because I might have got more yarn to make more. Oh my gosh. I just, I love that pattern. It's really cool. Okay, so the next thing that I have is some leg warmers. So I decided that I wanted to make some leg warmers. I have them in my other float tote. And I love using this float tote for the different balls of yarn. It's, it's really nice. So I have one color in one cup and one color in another cup. And then I have my little notions tin and my, like my tape measure and you know, a little, the label and some hand sanitizer in the other one. So I love how, you know, you can put like, all of your stuff in one cup and then you can put your yarn in the other two. I just love it. This set of leg warmers that I'm making is using a DK weight yarn. And so what I did was I had one skein of this really cool DK weight. I'll just go ahead and show it to you. It was 
this Bumblebee Acres Fiber Farm. It's in their Squishy DK. And then it is Where Are You Christmas colorway The Grinch. So it kind of looked more spring to me and not as much Christmas. But um, so I went ahead and cast them on. And I also picked out this other skein of yarn that I had in my stash and it was left over. It was like an acrylic, but it's about the same weight and it's really soft and speckly. And I thought it would go with, with my other, the Bumblebee Farms yarn. And that's what this looks like. Okay. So I went ahead and um, made my own stripes. I cast on 64 stitches with a size four um, signature needle set of DPNs that I'm using. And I cast on 64 stitches in the one color and then I just kept switching back and forth. And then in the middle here where I switched colors, I went ahead and did um, a slip stitch pattern. So I just basically uh, slip stitch and then I knit three, slip stitch again, knit three. I did that two, two rounds so that it had big V slip stitches and then every time I switch colors that's what I did. I love how it turned out. Up here I went ahead and put in one set of four increases where I made um, an extra increase on each DPN. So I made one stitch into two on each of the four DPN. So there's four increased stitches just to make it bigger for the top part of your leg. And I love how this is knitting up. And I cast it on, I've knit the, um, the cuff of it. What I did to begin with, because I didn't have a lot of one yarn or the other, like I didn't have a bunch to make one whole set of um, leg warmers, I went ahead and weighed it. And I had two balls of, um, of these two colors and then two more balls of these two colors. And then I decided I would use one set of um, cakes for one uh, leg warmer and then I would use the other set of cakes for the other leg warmer just so I would have enough yarn held back so that I could finish the pair. If you're interested I could make a video on how I did these um, like I could make another pair but I really love them they're so cute so I have to finish those up. So the next thing that I have is um, some roll eggs. Okay so I have a blending board and I had some fiber in my sash and I made these roll eggs so that I could spin with them. I, I had a couple of different colors. I didn't have a lot of one color. So I just blended all these together on this blending board. I don't have my blending board out right now because I put it away, but it's just like a board with all of these like tines on it. And then you brush the fiber onto it and then you roll it off and make these roll eggs with dowels. So, and then you just slip them off the dowel. It's really cool. And then you take these and you spin them like this, just like on your spinning wheel, like you start pulling it and then. Anyway, so I started spinning it. I'll just show you what it looks like. I, I didn't want to take my <laughs> bobbin off my wheel, but this is what it looks like. I love how it's turning out. I'll let you know what it looks like when I finish that project of the making the skein of yarn, but it's super fun to make. So, and then I have one other spinning project that I made. I had a loop, um, loop studios bat. And this one is called inner warmth. That's the colorway. And I haven't been spinning in a while, so I decided this summer I'm gonna go ahead and spin some more so I can get more proficient at it. And so this is what it looks like, my loop bat that I finished. I do love it. It's crazy green colors. And I did just a two ply. So I spun it all onto my wheel and then I um, took it off and put it onto my um, yarn cake winder and then I pulled from the inside and the outside and I spun it back um, to ply it on itself. So that is what I did with that. That's what I plan to do with these roll eggs also to make a big skein of yarn and see how that turns out. So the next thing that I have, I think I saw somebody making a um, muscle burrow with these this heritage prints and I went ahead and got some. I got two different kinds so I could make maybe more muscle burrows, maybe <laughs> socks or whatever. 
but there's definitely enough yarn. And these are at a good price point. They're not super expensive or anything like that. They're 75 super wash and then 25 nylon. So the next thing that I have, I placed an order with Homespun House a while ago. It takes, um, I don't know, three or four weeks maybe. And I got this one which is a, a sock set. It's called Neon and Spandex, this big one. And then the two little minis are uh, Refresh, which is the green, and then the blue is Scandinavia. And I've used Scandinavia before, I really love it. And I love this <laughs> Neon and Spandex colorway, it's so cool. Okay, and then the other one I got is Double Dare. I just thought this would be super cool for leg warmers, actually. <laughs> and I might do like a set of leg warmers with something else with it. And then this one is called Footloose. So I love this one. These are really cool. So, all right, that is everything. I don't have anything from the Denver crew because I just did this last minute. I didn't even have enough time to ask them if they have anything, but I'll catch up with them next time and add them to the end next time. So thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. <music>